What happened? <laughs> what is going on? Raiden, answer me! Raiden! Roger that. Sending back up.
Railroad. It would appear so. Likely part of Denver's old system. This city was a major transport hub in the early years of freight trains. This particular line appears to have been abandoned some time ago. It was originally constructed to transport supplies to an underground factory. But now, it seems even the electrical system is no longer functioning. Yeah, it's pitch black in here. As a cyborg, I trust this is not a serious concern. noticed you. Do not expose yourself.
maintenance shaft up ahead. Use it to return to the surface. Quick souvenir or two for Rose, and that'll be it. Raiden, we must hurry. Remind me to teach you about sarcasm sometime. I understand your attempts at humor. I simply do not find them entertaining.
Unable to speak. A real dog has a far greater intellect. is a means to an end, to protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you, all those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? They're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their BMC contract. Usually, they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they signed up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear-inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender? Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the Nano suppress. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh.
Finish him off! Whatever it takes to be free of this torture. Stop it! What am I even fighting for? <laughs> Yeah. 
to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon, of the Winds of Destruction. Yeah, I guessed as much. Sides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phnom Pen taught me that. Yes, you aren't the only one to grow up with a kill. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Controlled by something great, memes, the DNA of the soul. They are the culture, they are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they learn to hate. They become a carrier, envy, greed, despair, all means. How about going to shit? Is that a meme? You can't fight nature, Jack. The wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. Ugh. Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you take. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! <sighs> the bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. 
You? But you. All this is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? This, this is madness. You do it. Okay. All right. Pain. This is why I fight. <laughs> Let's 
I'm fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. Later.
I'm sorry, sir. Our business hours for the day have ended. We are looking for our Is that correct? Watch out! They keep on coming! Sundowner contacted you from the top floor. Time to make your way up there. Generators appear to be disabled, which we should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit. Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. Ooh, splendid idea! By all means, yes! Hmm? It seems the guards are storming the building. Guidance, get back to the entrance. Buy me some time to get this elevator operational. You can control that UGT as well, yes? Give them hell!
Attack was a success towards the elevator right. security purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. So that's where the brains in the server room will be, up top. Indeed. But that elevator can only access the lower floors. You need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to reach the upper area. Let me guess. Time to find another left hand? Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. It is powered by no less than three systems, including a backup power supply. You will need to destroy all of the electrical control panels to disable them. In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. Ah, the security gate. It is composed of steel alloy bonded by a high-frequency electrical current. It should unlock once the power has been cut. an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Good! 
One down, two to go. Keep at it, Raiden. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Excellent! Just one more! They keep on coming!
готов у меня. Ирец. Sliders in the area. Perhaps they could be put to use. Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. What? Raiden? No! No! Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. Go! Cool. Hey, what's wrong? Answer me! Raiden! Raiden! Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. Raiden, respond! Raiden! Raiden! Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. What's wrong? Answer me! Raiden! Raiden! Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. Cannot be! Raiden, what happened? You are supposed to be stronger than this! Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. No, Titan, what's wrong? Answer me! Raiden! Raiden! Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. Right there. 
Right away is up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. All right. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear Raiden. Now! Exit is sealed. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you is connected to a corridor meant for transporting materials. You can take that through the elevator.
Use the catwalk straight ahead to reach the elevator. My apologies, Raiden. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. Reach the servo room via the freight elevator just ahead.
Abreiten! Another freight platform! Look out! Incoming! <lacht>
Doppel reiten. The elevator cannot take much more of this. Jump to the adjacent platform. Oh, the platform is losing speed. Scheiße, the Treibhorter is interfering. Reiten, clear them out of the shaft. Do not let them block the elevator. Dryden, respond! Dryden! 